Hey y'all, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel. If you're OG, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, I talk all about DIY content creation. And today I'm excited because we're doing another DIY iPhone photo shoot. This time I'm shooting out in the open, in public with my iPhone. I know you guys love these videos, DIY iPhone, Instagram, photo shoot, etc. ideas. You guys love just triggering my social anxiety and going out and shooting in public. But luckily, you know, no one came up, no one pulled out, but we're going to shoot in the parking garage of my apartment. I'm going to shoot in the garage as well as two shoots on the rooftop. So hope you guys enjoy. All right, y'all, I just got to the sixth floor, the floor that's not the rooftop um, for the first look. And I'm absolutely loving this light. If you don't know, iPhones love like direct sunlight whenever you're shooting. So I'm about to get set up. I just have my iPhone tripod. I'm going to be shooting with the Bluetooth remote, but I won't be able to see myself. So we'll see how that goes. And then, yeah, set y'all up. Yeah. Gotta aim for the top like, hello. Yeah, I can never doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when it does settle. So I'm in my element, it's evident that this level to the game. All of those dark nights. In order to accomplish this shoot, I am using an iPhone 11 playing around between the ultra wide and the regular lenses. I have my phone on a Movo iPhone tripod attachment or just phone tripod <laughs> attachment um, which I'll link below and then I'm playing around with different angles so I'm like lowering my tripod trying my tripod at the same angle as me as far as sun I'm just using that direct sunlight that's coming in through the garage in order to get the best possible photos and then I'm shooting with a Bluetooth camera remote and my self timer I cannot see myself so I did have to kind of go back and double check the angles before I found what I liked <laughs> All right, I'm now on the rooftop. It's so nice up here. Um, so we're gonna shoot this look. Probably should have, I guess you guys saw my last look. And I want this to be more facing the sky, so that's the goal. For this shoot, I have the same setup, except I'm not shooting in direct sunlight for this shoot in particular. I am trying to shoot around golden hour. I think this is about 30 minutes prior to um, golden hour time, and then I'm just shooting on the rooftop, so I'm kind of just having a soft light come in my direction for this look. Again, shooting at a pretty low angle, and I'm just shooting with the regular lens, not using the ultra wide on my iPhone 11. We are at the last look. I'll turn y'all down. Jenna came with me for the last shoot. I'm on the last look, you guys. We made it. No one saw me. No public shame. But let's get it. <laughs> Running in place, y'all really testing my patience. Right before I blow up the spot, I had to get back to the basics. What if my talent? So I have the same exact setup for the final shoot. The sun's kind of coming from the side of me, getting a lot closer to exactly golden hour. And then I'm just kind of playing around with this white brick wall as my backdrop, and then just doing some fun little poses. Gotta keep grinding till I'm laid up in the casket. No fake round, but you feeling too plastic. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling too plastic. They say my style crazy, but then it's straight jacket. Wow. Why you still testing my patience? Trying to turn me into something I ain't trying to be. All the hate is a heavy rotation. You gon' lose yourself, quit testing me. Don't make me lose my mind. Don't make me lose my mind. So I'm going to show you guys how I would edit these on my phone using the Visco app. So I have all the photos in Visco and I use the HB2 filter and then I just kind of modify it from there. So for this I'm turning down the exposure, um, I'm making the temperature a little bit cooler because it was a little bit too warm for me. And then again just manipulating the exposure and playing around with the saturation to add a bit more color into that photo. And then again, just going back, making sure I like how everything looks. I play add a little bit of skin tones. So I don't have to add too much saturation because that can sometimes make me look oompa loompa orange. Um, but once I get that photo, I like it. I save it, move on to the next photo. Again, HB2, lowering the exposure, adding a little bit of saturation to get a pop of color. 
change in uh, temperature, whether I want it more of a warm or a cool tone, and then again, just playing around until I get it where I like it. Final photo again, adding my HB2. This one, I didn't have direct sunlight, so I have a lot of shadows going on, especially since my hair is down. So I'm just playing around with that, opening up the shadows, lowering the exposure, adding a little bit, a tiny bit of saturation, and then adding, playing around with that, made up the temperature a bit warmer, and then up the skin tone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this inspired you to go out, you know, just take some photos out and about self-love, you know, treat yourself and have fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, see you guys in the next video. Thumbs up this video, support my channel, subscribe to see more videos like this. Press the notification bell to be the first to know whenever I post. Your girl's out.